Hey guys, what's happening? Back here again, Gordy, your pal, your boy. Um, what's up? Um, my week has been very interesting. Now, if you guys have uh, been keeping up with me on Instagram or other social media channels, but uh, we now have uh, the Discord up and running and it's been going for about you know a week, two weeks, and we have, I think we have close to 15, 20 users. So for anyone who's joined the Discord and been uh, speaking and talking to me and all that kind of stuff, yeah, great. Thank you for joining. Um, we're very, uh, very, uh, or I'm very, sorry, grateful to have you in, in the Discord. It's really awesome. Um, also, uh, we've uh, been pushing towards 2,000 subs, so we are nearly there. I feel like I've been saying that forever. It seems to, you know, just taken such a, a long time, but then I think I've got to remember that... Um, the content I've been putting up the last couple of years hasn't, well, it's been consistent. It's been, you know, once uh, a month for, you know, however many years we've talked about in the last episode, and that's great, but I think, you know, especially YouTube's algorithm now, it needs to be more consistent. That's why I'm doing these update videos. Um, <clears throat> we're still working on our next guest. Um, we should have them um, talking to us this weekend, which means we'll have an episode up soon. It's just been a bit crazy over the Christmas New Year period um, because I was busy on mine as well. I didn't have time to really set up any um, calls or, or any uh, episodes for the podcast. So um, I've been asking a few people and I have one or two who will be coming on. Uh, one definitely this weekend. So yeah, once I've got that kind of uploaded and, and, and set up, then I'll let you guys know. I'll be here on the channel. Um, also, if you guys have any suggestions for who you'd want to have on the podcast, you know, I'm, I'm very open to having um, you guys suggest who you would want to hear. I can always track them down and, and try and get them on the podcast. Um, I generally just try to pick people I think would be really interesting to talk to who have uh, tackled maybe particular projects or done things in artistic career that are, are more out of the norm. Um, I know sometimes people can have guests on multiple times a week you know even every day and it's just like they're just going through their friends list they're just picking whoever they can to talk to um and i've always tried to avoid that and speak to people i feel that would be more um would put more value into the podcast and would be people that you would generally have an interest in um especially our last guest nick you know nick was really really interesting to talk to for me as well just as an artist in general and uh people really seem to enjoy listen to him talk so yeah people like that are, are rare and i think that's why i like getting them on the podcast because um they have such a an opinionated voice on the industry um also my journey the last week has been intense <clears throat> i've done a few things i actually feel like i've done a lot this week um and i need to try and replicate that if i can every week um without burning out and i made uh, multiple photo reference packs that are on my art station i'll link them below um, you'll see some video or, or images of those uh, right now um, on ArtStation. Um, also, yeah, uh, I've in general just been drawn as much as I can and uh, consuming uh, books and, and knowledge. Um, but I need to start doing more. I think I need the, the whole first week was just more theory, I think, than drawing. I did draw more. I have drawn more last week and I've drawn in maybe six months. Um, but then, of course, that's because I've, I've been, you know, I've just decided before Christmas that I was going to pursue my 2d career more than my 3d um also it's a thing or a subject that i wanted to bring up in this podcast not this podcast this this update video this thinking out loud um that you know i wanted to talk about concept art versus illustration and i think again it was something that people still confuse and i think even i've still confused to this point whereas you know i'm, I'm looking at my career as an illustrator i'm thinking how many years it's going to take me to get in a place where I'll probably be able to work as an illustrator full-time um but then of course I, rem I had to remind myself the other night even last night when I was I was feeling a bit down about my progress even though it'd only been a week <laughs> I still caught down on myself but I was generally like um you know oh, I wish I was doing better I wish I was I was having more progress in a shorter span of time um, seven days does not make progress anyway um but yeah i tried to remind myself that my end goal my end end goal like my end you know like end of the line goal is to be obviously doing illustration but i think my initial goal would be to do 2d uh concept 
um, environment or characters and I think that can be achieved quicker these days um, because you don't need to purely just draw things, you don't need to purely just paint things, um, you can fill those gaps with, um, with photograph textures or with 3D models um, and yeah that makes the in-betweens. Um, of course what I'm building on is a foundation of uh, composition perspective you know light color um, I'm trying to make sure those are embedded in me before I push on the photo textures in 3d because those are more a production tool than like your whole experience should just be one photo your whole experience should just be made from one 3d model you know you've got to have a combined knowledge of a lot of things <clears throat> to really uh, make that like a solid um, so what I'm trying to look for, you know, you have an all-round or, or kind of more rounded skill set um, if you have that foundation underneath you. So yeah, um, I was trying to be like, yeah, it's not as, hopefully it won't be as long as I'm thinking it's going to be to get um, full-time work because I'll have that uh, that way of making things in 3D and using photo textures that'll mean that um, illustration won't have to be 100% before I even think about doing concept because again concept versus illustration concept is not you know a fully finished piece that is hyper rendered you know it's it's uh, it's something that is, is, is put together for production to generate ideas and solve problems excuse me and um, yeah so this is this is the thing that people I think mix up in, in most production cycles is that they try to think about um, where I want to land in the industry and uh, they think if they can't fully illustrate something then that automatically means that um, they can't do things like concept art, they can't do things like concept design um, because you know these things require a high level of illustration techniques. Some do, some don't. You know I've seen artists who can draw very competently and can make a composition mostly out of their sketch and using you know like four textures in 3d just to fill in some small gaps whereas there are people i know who work at, work at companies who are doing concept design concept art and most of their uh design is is based on a 3d shape or a 3d model and they're doing overpaints on top of that um you know, I remember speaking to an artist one time at an event and I was trying to get him to draw in my sketchbook and he was like, dude, I can't draw. And I was like, really? <laughs> you work at a, a large company and you can't draw. But then I forget that um, his the base of his work was um, a combination of painting and 3D. So, um, yeah, like, like I said, it doesn't always have to be that 100% illustration technique um there are people i think you know it, it's a very mixed bag there's definitely a split when it comes to concept design and there are people who will use those more 3d fast moving production tools and there's people also who like to hyper render stuff um of course a lot of the concept stuff will start off in rough but then they can take it to that illustration finish um whereas obviously some people just want to generate ideas super quickly and usually 3d is a as a means to do that it's a it's a way of creating um, ideas super quickly um, because you know drawing something in perfect perspective and, and shading and lighting takes you know x amount of time but then to just set up a couple of cubes in a scene throw a light in it you know half the work's done for you already so yeah it's, it's an interesting way to look at um, how things are kind of put together and and where to focus but uh, yeah there's definitely a, a mixed bag and, and, and it's interesting to see um, my progress on that as well and the way I'm going to go um, which I'm trying to you know, hope that I'm I'm going to keep up with you guys uh, as I go you can always follow me on my art, uh, <coughs> follow me on my art station or you can you know check me on social media I'm on Instagram I think it's Gordy Makes Art um, again I'll link them below and uh, yeah just just check out guys and, and, and keep up to date with me um, these again are videos that I'm going to keep kind of short within the 10 minute range because uh, again with YouTube I think if it's anything over 15 minutes it starts to um, kind of fire down the priority queue um, so I try to keep them as, as brisk as I can but if you have any comments or any questions you want to ask me um, jump into the discord I'm always there um, from day to day talking and uh, yeah I'll, I'll see you guys later get us to 2k subs if you can man I would really appreciate everybody's help and uh, I'll see you guys next week bye